so in this chapter we will study about some of the okay, strategy for learning which is related to artificial intelligence okay. so let's make so in the introduction okay i will explain about the learning okay. so basically okay the agent can improve their behavior through diligent study of their own experience so this is really true because agent interact with the environment every time okay so let's say we have an agent here okay an agent is interacting always with the environment as you know uh, so it first get the sensation by the sensors and then do some action so this is a continuous process that will going on from time to time okay so uh, by doing so okay it learns a lot of things about environment so that's why experience comes in so agent can improve their behavior how to interact with the environment how to deal with the environment if we got some sense of the environment so this is really true uh, through the diligent study of their own experience so experience is the main factor by experience okay the agent can learn a lot of about the environment and do some action for the future so the idea behind okay learning is that uh, the percept okay which is receiving from the environment okay the percept okay so it is just like this one the percept okay this one uh, so the percepts should be used okay not only for acting okay so usually we do perception uh, observation for doing action the next one the next one and so on of so it should not be used okay just okay percept should not be used for only for act, action but also for improving the agent's ability to act in future that's what i tell you okay so by experience it can gain knowledge understanding about the environment and then can, it can do uh, all those actions uh, some better action actually some better action for the future that's all so learning is essential okay it is essential process so the learning is essential for unknown environment so if you uh, let's say the agent don't know anything about the environment so how does it work i mean initially it will try to observe a lot of information from the environment using sensors and by doing so it is doing a process of learning and that learning will help the agent do the future actions that's all so when the designer lacks okay omni science okay means universal science okay so when a designer lacks we don't have a design capability inside the agent then uh, the state of known everything okay omni sense universal the state of knowing everything so when designer don't okay put inside the design for the agent uh, with the consideration of everything okay usually uh, for example uh, let's say uh, an agent like robot so usually uh, people do a lot of uh, initial observation and do okay uh, put the design inside put the working functionality inside the robot okay for basic understanding and that don't work okay in other environment so robot fail in other environment okay so uh, it is designer's capability again the same thing as we uh, i think we have discussed it earlier in chapter 3 or 4 or even 2 also that it is the designer capability which will gain uh, which will gain momentum which will give more okay a capability to the agent so if uh, the designer is well experienced and also have uh, greatest ability to design the artificial in intelligence machines or agents then it can do a lot of things i mean the agent can do a lot of things the robot can do a lot of things in different environment so this is all about this one that's all too much so learning is useful okay as a system 
so it is useful as a system construction method uh, the same thing as i discussed here okay for the construction of agent and also for the uh, all those okay artificial intelligence agent talking about also robots at the same time okay so learning is useful as a system construction method to expose the agent to a reality real ground okay environment uh, rather than a fictitious or a virtual environment so that's all and learning um, learning also modifies okay agent's decision so sometimes learning uh, and better learning okay so you get some information earlier by studying something then you study again and learning by doing so a continuous learning process you modify your knowledge okay so learning modifies the agent decision okay mechanism and by gaining uh, better knowledge it can gain better okay decision also it can understand okay what to do exactly so agent decision also okay it modifies from time to time because of the learning process so the agent decision mechanisms uh, uh, gets improved okay this is the main thing so all the time improvement is the process that we are interested in and it is done by learning that's all so improvement performance that's all okay let's move to the different forms of learning okay so the learning can have not just one form it can it could have many okay so the learning agent okay contains uh, as you uh, just we discussed all these things so the learning agents okay uh, now we have a new term if you can remember we got so many agents and this time learning agent okay so the learning agent okay cons uh, consists of or contains performance element okay so remember p is okay p e a s so uh, so the this means okay the entire uh, learning agent decides okay what action to take so decision making okay what action to to be done in the next step that's all learning element okay that so a learning element okay that modifies again the same term for the performance okay element so that it okay makes better decision means agent okay could have okay uh, i mean should make a better decision okay that's all the same thing actually okay so here's a okay, uh, good uh, beautiful diagram about the learning agent so you can understand a lot of things by doing so in the diagram so the learning agents okay here uh let's see okay this is the environment the same thing the agent is here okay and uh the, as usual perceptions perceptions and actions okay so uh now we have perceptions okay perceptions okay in, uh, the agent percepts from the environment and it goes to the sensor okay the sensor will okay uh transfer the data okay the information the observation to the critic block so the, these are different block actually okay all these are different block for critic okay a performance standard is already there there are certain rules okay about the performance so that performance standards are employed inside this box okay this unit okay, like this one critic and uh, whenever okay we got uh, a combination i mean the processing okay under the performance standard it comes as a feedback to the learning element this is the main thing okay here so the learning element okay is okay refined observation or refined knowledge you can think like this also uh, at the same time okay uh, it will set the learning go the learning go okay uh, is moving to the problem generator so learning go will assist the problem 
Okay, so let's say the set of problems here, problem generators, and learning goal will try to find out the better solutions all the time. So uh, by doing so, okay, it is improving the performance. Okay, performance element is here, and uh, if the performance element has improved, okay, it will send the, the knowledge to the learning element that let's update this knowledge. Okay, because we got a new, better understanding about the environment or the problem. So we have a better understanding of the problem and what is the real solution, we can do it now. So all these processes are, you can see, moving around. Uh, also, uh, after okay, uh, a new okay, information is inserted inside this learning element, it will update it here again. To the performance element as well okay so the changes are recorded here in this section as well so these are interchangeable two blocks okay all these knowledge is updated here and also changes are updated here okay like this way uh, okay finally okay, we have effectors okay so after finalizing all these things performance element will send a signal that uh, is received by the effectors, actuators, to do some action, that's all. So it is a, a little bit complex, but in this diagram, it seems very easy, okay? Uh, okay, let's move to the next one. So there are four important components of learning elements, okay? So uh, number one is learning element, responsible for making improvements, this one. Performance element, okay, it is responsible for selecting external action, this one, okay. Actuators, remember here, the same thing, okay, this one. Okay, also, uh, critic. So, critic is designed to tell the learning element how well the agent is doing, okay. So, how well the agent is doing is recorded uh, by the critic. The critic employs a fixed okay, standard of performance, okay, like this one. And the performance standard, okay, this one, which is coming to the okay, critic section, is a fixed measure. It is a fixed measure that is conceptually outside the agent. That's all. Okay. So standards are set by the outer okay, element inside the agent okay, like this one so uh, the fourth one is problem generator so the problem generator is responsible for suggesting okay it is responsible for suggesting actions okay that will lead to new and informative experience so it will suggest some actions uh, that is to be done by the agent okay uh, and it will those actions will lead to a new and informative experience okay so this is all about this one so new and informative experience so this is all about the four components uh, also uh, there are several types of okay, feedbacks so type of feedbacks okay here supervised learning so in the number one is supervised learning so in the supervised learning okay uh, it, uh, the learning is done in such a way that it will correct okay, the answers, the solutions, correct answers or solutions for each example. Okay? So it is under the supervision of something okay, which is guiding, okay, let's mix this correction, this is not true, this is not okay, this is not for, this is for. Okay? So the, they will try to correct every time okay, all the, those okay, uh, solutions or answers uh, also okay uns in the just opposite one is unsupervised so here okay we don't have any supervision we have okay no predetermined or pre uh, existing or uh, okay uh, any supervisor for this one so unsupervised learning okay uh, it will correct okay answer not not given so it is it doesn't exist earlier, okay i mean the solutions are okay the 
the learning doesn't exist earlier, but it will try to do it, okay, by example, by experience, okay, putting all the all the things in order later, okay, not earlier. So, uh, okay, just something like this that let's say in the supervised we have different categories, okay, and we just put okay all the things one by one in as per different okay uh, blocks. But in the unsupervised, we don't have any categories. So we have to make different categories, okay, in the, that I will put this block here, okay, and I will put this block here, okay, I will put this one here, all these things like this one. Okay, uh, so it will correct answers, okay, not given earlier, not given earlier, okay, like this. Reinforcement learning, okay, it is in between supervised and unsupervised. So it will, okay, reinforce, okay, it will put in practice the learning process, although it is uh, not there, but it will try to set some rule, okay, it will try to find out existing, okay, uh, enforced, okay, rule, okay, that is done by reinforcement. So the learning process is there by step by step to gain some knowledge and then try to put the things in order. Okay? So this is also called as occasional rewards. Okay? So by doing so, okay, we get uh, sometimes uh, a better understanding. That's why it is called rewarded occasionally. occasionally. So let's say okay, in detail. In the supervised learning, an agent can learn effect okay, of it, uh, agent's action okay, through condition. Okay? So let's say we have to put with certain condition. Okay? The condition is A or B or C or D, okay? like this one. So this is a kind of supervised. For example, in the case of taxi driver, okay? uh, instructor okay, uh, short break. So uh, let's say uh, you are under the uh, taxi drive to drive a car. So your instructor will be your supervisor. So he will command you, he will guide you how do you how to drive a car okay or taxi. So th this is an example of supervised. So uh, it will ask to apply the brake or just uh, put uh, start the acceleration okay process all these things so for instance okay uh, this is the same example breaking hard okay on wet road uh, these are some example it can learn the effects of its action that's all so this is okay supervised I give you example of uh, your supervisor instructor and the learner of taxi Okay, unsupervised is uh, completely different, okay, just opposite. It involves, okay, learning patterns in the input, okay, in the input when no specified output is there. So we don't have any information, okay, we don't have any supervisor, instructor to guide for the all the process, okay, all the action that we need to do. So this is just opposite without any instructor. So values are supplied, okay? So no specified output values are supplied earlier. So unsupervised agent cannot learn, okay? By its, uh, by, okay, the instructor or by the supervisor, okay? Because it don't have any supervisor. So unsupervised agent cannot learn what to do because it has no information, the same thing as to what okay, constitute a correct action or a desirable state, that's all. So in the reinforcement learning, okay, rather than being told to do, okay, told what to do, uh, like in supervised, uh, a reinforcement learning agent must okay, learn from reinforcement. So what is that? Reinforcement learning includes the sub-problem of learning means a part of the problem, not the whole problem, okay? So it includes a, a part of the problem. 
small part of the problem of learning how the environment first uh, works okay and by doing so it will gain some knowledge some learning understanding okay and by doing so it will apply a set of rules and then it will do okay its own uh, process so uh, for example okay in the chess game the reinforcement is received okay the process of reinforcement is received only okay at the end of the game because you learn finally how someone uh, your opponent won the game or how did you get uh, failure or maybe how did you get a win situation okay so you learn at the end okay? you will learn at the end that's all uh, in the ping pong okay each point score can be okay uh, considered as a reward when learning to okay any forward motion is an achievement so this is another example ping pong or chess game okay, all these things so there are many examples actually if you search uh, reinforcement learning you will find a lot and this is a third category which is uh, a little bit okay complex than the supervised and unsupervised but these days this reinforcement learning is helping a lot in ai okay, applications so uh, inclusive learning okay, then the next one uh, inclusive learning okay using a particular set of facts or ideas to form a general rule so it is used okay these okay facts or ideas or observation information are used to make a general rule general principle okay and algorithm for deterministic supervised okay? so an algorithm for deterministic supervised learning is given so one algorithm is used to generalize okay to put uh, the principles of okay general general principles okay, inside this algorithm so algorithm for deterministic supervised learning is given as input the correct value of unknown function or for particular input okay and try to recover something close to it so by doing so this one okay uh, by using the common principle okay based algorithm which is also considered as deterministic supervised learning uh, it is as input and then output will be okay uh, discovery of okay something some new output uh, a new, new result uh, uh, we say result or natija okay so uh, it is which is very close to our target okay close to our target so it is not exactly the target but it could be very close nearly okay to the goal so the simplest form okay is learn a function from example so okay this one this is the function we are talking about okay so the simplest form learn a function from example so let's say f is a function f is the target function okay an example is a pair of x fx okay is okay the target you can think like this the example is a pair x fx so the problem is okay find a hypothesis h heuristic function remember such that h is nearly equal to f okay so in that situation okay we are targeting our goal okay nearly okay nearly okay not exactly because uh, maybe the the problem is very difficult complex and we cannot find exact solution so in that case uh, in that situation we should find near solutions okay that's all so given a training set of example okay we got some data banner okay uh, having training set data given a training set of examples uh, this is highly simplified model okay, of real world okay learning example so it ignores prior knowledge okay there's no okay prior uh, or existing knowledge okay uh, assumes a deterministic observable environment assumes examples are given okay like this one training set okay 
and also okay assume that agent wants to learn okay uh, f function that's all i think this is uh, not so much okay that's okay leave it so it will try to learn okay uh, f which is nearly the uh, exact goal that's all so we finish here okay all these okay